How's it everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Hawaiian Horology. On this episode, I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey with me to see exactly how long it takes me to get a GMT Master II from an authorized dealer. So here in Hawaii, we only have two authorized dealers at the moment and I got history with both. And so I decided to just text them both on the same day. I text them both on September 1st. And as you can see from the text messages here, one, I had a pretty promising back and forth with them about me putting, or them putting me on the list. And as you can see, the other text message here is just a thumbs up. But I mean, I, I, I think I got a pretty good relationship with both of them, but that thumbs up was kind of like, I don't know, it was disconcerting, but it just kind of didn't get my hopes up here. But I pretty much just asked them for any model on a Jubilee. Well, not this uh, full gold model here because that is way too expensive. But I asked them for the green one on a Jubilee. I asked them for the Batgirl and I asked them for the Pepsi on a Jubilee. And I also asked them for this uh, two-tone one here. And I think, I'm, I know my, my rankings from my text, I put this one as last, but I kind of like this one the most the two-tone yellow gold one, but it is the most expensive and um, it's, you know, maybe five or $6,000 more than the stainless steel models here. So, I mean, I would rather just get a stainless steel, but I do think this one is like the most eye-catching. I don't have anything two-tone in my collection and I would welcome something like that in my collection. Of course, I would love this full gold one as well, but you know, I can't really afford that. But uh, yeah, so I'll be updating you guys sporadically or if they give me an update, I'll just pop it at the end of my videos just to see how long it does take me to get a GMT Master II. Unless, I don't know if you read a text from the one I asked them for a black Daytona. And that's just kind of like a pie in the sky, uh, wishful thinking right there. Just because, um, I mean, I don't think I ever get a Panda Daytona because that's very hard to get, but I just um, wanted to throw something really big out there. I was asking them earlier for the Titanium Yacht Master, but I think that is probably just like, just as unobtainable as the uh, Panda Daytona for maybe somebody with my history or whatever. But I mean, you know, who knows? They may, they may come through on some requests like that. But yeah, this is the model that I have really really wanted but i don't think i'll ever get it and i'll just show you guys a quick model here let's see if i can find it this is one that i kind of really do want and i think if i am going to go for a gold watch it will be this one the uh yellow gold yacht master 42 on oyster flex it just is very subtle but it's still like really eye-catching and anyway Thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Hawaiian Horology. I will be updating you guys in future videos. And maybe I'll do a running day count of how many, you know, days, months, or weeks it's been since I text my 80s. I'm not sure if I'm going to follow up on that text. I'm just going to send that one text out and just see. Because I don't want to keep bothering them and say, oh, do I have, is my GMT ready? Is my GMT ready? I may pop in the, like, to the store, but... I really hardly do that anymore. I really don't have time to pop in. But if I do get there, I will say hi. Be like, hey, you know, any updates on my GMT? And I will let you guys know if I do pop in and ask them. Or if I do maybe decide to text them again. But yeah, thanks again for watching. And hopefully one day I can review this watch for you. But probably not because it's really expensive. And, you know, I do have a lot of watches. But, you know, a gold watch is a lot. And like and subscribe below. Let me know what your dream Rolex, your dream watch is. And let me know maybe how long you waited for a GMT Master 2. Anyway, thanks again. Shoots!